Whenever I'm making multiples that will ultimately go into a set, I first wedge approximately as much clay as I think I'll use for the day, and then divide it into exactly equal chunks and wedge those too. I find that by wedging the clay as a bunch and then individually, I tend to get fewer air bubbles and a little more elasticity. In this case, all of this clay is only going to amount to about six plates, as plates use way more clay than you might think. I weigh out four and a half pounds for each plate, form them into balls, and then bag them up and set them by my wheel. That way, I can just stay at the wheel and keep a nice flow. I'm pretty sure that starting out with the same amount of clay each time is the only way to get your stuff looking really similar, because if you're consistent with the thickness of your clay, it kind of automatically turns out similar each time. But just to be sure they're as similar as possible, I do take out my ruler and make sure that they're in the same ballpark as far as width. My goal is 11 and a half inches across, which will eventually shrink down to about nine and a half inches when it's totally finished. And with that, one down and a bunch more to go.